Hey Scorpio, this is Dana with Taurus Star Tarot, and we are about to do a reading for your sign today. That being said, this is not a personal reading for you. This is a reading for a large group of energies. If you'd like a personal reading with me, you can reach me at TaurusStarTarot at gmail.com. Um, we will do a reading just like this, uh, deeper than this, more extended than this, um, for $35 and um, spe specifically specialized just for you and the issue that you want to resolve. Um, what else? Everything that you need to know about me, this channel, and this video is in the description box below. I do hope you, knew, you know your astrological chart. It's extremely important to know, obviously, your sun sign, sometimes referred to as your star sign, which today is Scorpio. Your sun sign is how the world interacts with you. You need to know your ascending, sometimes referred to as your rising sign, because that is how you present yourself to the world. Knowing your moon sign helps you to, to see how you feel about the world around you. And your Venus sign is how you give and receive love. So it's important to cross-watch all of those four elements in your astrological chart. There is a link in the box below where you can go to a free website and download your astrological chart. And it's um, amazing. It's, it's absolutely amazing. So do that so you can get the most out of watching these general free readings on YouTube. Okay, this is your past, your present, your future, and the outcome. This reading is about love. Um, there's a lot of different aspects here though, so I'm really, I'm really excited to get into it and work it all out. So let's get started, okay? In your immediate past, you present as the hermit. The hermit is um, the energy where we go inside and we do some soul searching, right? We do some introspection, introspection, um, we seek inner guidance, and we just be alone with ourselves for a minute. So in your recent past, you have been doing a lot of introspection and soul searching in regards to teamwork and collaboration, in regards to who it is that you're going to choose to spend your life with. You've done a lot of contemplation and reevaluation about how you feel. This person makes you feel very positive. Whomever it is that you are contemplating is... Um, it makes you feel positive and warm, fun, success, vitality. This person makes you feel really good. But you're keeping all of this to yourself. You're not sharing it with anybody. You're probably the only person in the whole world who knows that you're even contemplating all of this. And it's got you up in your head, really, really hard up in your head, thinking about every, overthinking it actually, thinking about every different aspect and avenue that this particular decision that you're trying to formulate here can take. In your um, present energy, you present as the Four of Pentacles. The Four of Pentacles talks to us about control, stability, security, possession, right? Followed through by the Empress. So the person that you are thinking about who makes you feel um, positive and fun and warm success vitality is this empress energy this is earth energy by the way specifically the sign of taurus okay and what do we have on the board here we have um, virgo we have earth energy we have fire energy we have air energy okay earth energy earth energy again specifically taurus so this this person you see as fulfillment, right? Fulfillment, satisfaction, abundance, fertility. This is the person you're thinking about right here, right? She embodies that or they embody the empress energy. You feel that this person will bring control and stability to your life. And you are going to take action and move forward with the decision that you formulated over here. You're going to put in some time and some effort and you're going to work on it. You're going to work on it and you are going to, you are going to go after it. You are going to transition from thinking about it to actually doing something about it. And it's 
topped off with the Four of Pentacles again. The Four of Pentacles is um, control, stability, security, and possession, right? You want this Empress. You've decided you want this Empress and you're going to go forward. How do we know that? Because in your immediate future, you present as the Six of Wands. The Six of Wands is all about victory, progress, and self-confidence, public recognition. So over here, you are keeping it on the down low. Over here, you are bringing it out into the open. And it's taken some strength and some courage for you to get there, right? The Page of Swords tells us that you are um, formulating a message to send to somebody. You're formulating a message to send to that Empress person, right? But you're afraid of rejection. You're afraid of rejection. This message that you are thinking about sending, um, it, it makes you very afraid of rejection. And you, you are, are this, you know that when you deliver this message that you have decided on over here, that it's going to create sudden change in your life, right? It's going to be an upheaval in, the, in everything, probably in the way that people see you. It's going to be an upheaval. It's going to change everything in your life. And that has you a little freaked out. So you go back in and you contemplate some more. You reevaluate some more. You want to make sure that this is the decision you want to go forward with. You want to make sure that there is no conflict. You are conflicted in yourself because you want this, but something about how the world will perceive you has you hung up a little bit, I do believe. So you're in a little bit of conflict. You're reevaluating, right? But boom, there's the message. There is the decision. There is the, the, the message that you're going to deliver. This queen has implemented the decision that that page up here is going to deliver. <clears throat> this is the decision. It is a passionate, inspired decision, right? It's a heartfelt decision to send a message to somebody, to, to, to the empress that, sh that, that you've decided that you want so bad. And it ends, out, it ends up in the Ten of Pentacles, right? You see this decision as being the be-all to end-all, right? Establishment, family, the whole, the, 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 the whole enchilada right there, right? Look at all of these outcome cards we have. So in your outcome position, we have you with the, um, the stealthy decision that you were formulating over here, right? The outcome is always like the culmination of all three of these, the past, present, and the future. So we have you over here with that stealthy decision that you're keeping to yourself, right? And there you are deciding that you are going to go forward with this. Deciding that you're going to go forward with this with victory and progress and you're going to come out into the open about the decision that you've made because up here you're keeping it stealthy over here you were keeping it on the down low right but you're going to present you're going to come out of the closet with this decision and it will be an ending it'll be an ending to to everything you've been up until now right you you know that the old you will end and the new you will begin. You are manifesting. You are manifesting justice. You're manifesting um, fairness, truth, cause and effect, and law. What you're manifesting is cause and effect, right? The cause is you deciding to go forward with this decision. The effect is the Queen of Pentacles and the Emperor. The cause is you deciding to go forward with this. The outcome, the effect of that decision is um, this, this energy right here. 
She is um, the queen of security, right? She's the queen of money. She is a practical, uh, down-to-earth person. She runs a household and a business, right? So I do believe that this queen of pentacles is um, the empress right here, right? That's the, the empress that you want to deliver this message to. And you are feeling very much like the emperor, right? The empress and the emperor. The empress was over here. You're feeling very much like the emperor, right? Authority, establishment, structure, in control. The emperor rules the universe with the empress, right? I mean, he is in control. You're in control of your emotions. You're in control of your emotions and you have courage. You have courage to do this. You're in control of your emotions and you have courage to manifest unified love, a relationship, a partnership, right? And you're sending out a message, a very steady, controlled, thought through message, right? This is a slow energy, but it has intent and purpose. But you, you're, you're wrought with insecurity and worry about how this is going to be accepted. Judgment comes in and tells us that there, there, there will be um, absolution to the situation and a rebirth and a new beginning, right? There's your message of, of feelings and love. Ooh, that you're sending to somebody from your past. This is reconciliation and reunion. Oh, that makes a lot more sense now that we have that card there. So you're sending a message of love to reconcile with somebody from your past. And that message to reconcile with somebody from your past throws them into the Nine of Swords, which is intense anxiety, right? Intense anxiety, staying up at night. I mean, it just throws them for a loop, right? They have a little bit of conflict in their mind, in their head, about this message of love that you've just delivered. They have conflict and they have um, um, despair, right? They, 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 they just don't... It, they just don't know what to do. They go into the hangman mode, right? They go into the hangman energy. They're going to pause. They're going to surrender. They're going to let go and they're going to come out on the other side with a new perspective. But it's so intense for them, right? Let's just cut this off right here. Because this kind of takes a, a new, okay. All right, so you, you deliver. Your message of love to somebody from your past throws them into just like super, you know, intense anxiety, right? Intense anxiety. They are very conflicted in their head. They are, um, they, they have some despair about what, how to answer this whole thing. They go into hangman mode and they pause and surrender. They think real hard for, for a long minute, right? Not only do they think real hard for a long minute. Oh, I see. So they go into their head. They think real hard for a long minute. This throws you into the hermit mode again back to introspection and soul searching. Maybe it's even them doing some introspection and some soul searching. It is, okay? So they go into the hangman energy. They um, do some serious thinking about the offer that you just gave them. They do some soul searching, some introspection, right? They seek some wisdom, wisdom and some guidance. about a decision, about the decision to go forward or not with you. They return your message, 
with the Knight of Swords. And the message is wishes fulfilled. The message is um, happiness, satisfaction, and wishes fulfilled. And you guys go forward with swift action to implement the coming together that has happened in this outcome stack right here, right? Swift forward action covered by the death card, which means there's going to be change, transformation, and transition. There's going to be an end to all of this, and there's going to be change, a transformation in your relationship and in both of your lives, right? There's going to be a tra change, a transformation, and a transition into the Ace of Pentacles, which is manifestation of a new opportunity, manifestation of a new beginning and a new journey between the two of you with inspiration and power, right? You're going to create a new beginning with unlimited potential. The Seven of Cups talks to us about um, fantasy, illusion, wishful thinking, choices, right? So there is a choice. There is a choice made here. Which brings forth celebration, friendship. I mean, everybody, everybody, you guys and everybody around you is like, yes, right? The moon comes in and says subconscious mind and intuition, right? It also talks about fear and anxiety as well. I do believe that this card right here is um, your subconscious mind, the both of you, your subconscious mind knowing that this is the right direction to go in because that's covered by the world, which is completion, integration, and accomplishment. The Nine of Pentacles, gratitude, self-sufficiency, culmination, right? Culmination, culmination. The Seven of Pentacles, profit and reward, investing, sowing seeds for your new relationship. There's you, Aries. Uh, Aries, <laughs> sorry, Scorpio, that's you. However, I see this card. The King of Wands is always, um, he's an Aries fire. He's a fire sign, Sag Leo Aries, right? But to me, this card is always um, a Scorpio card as well. Every Scorpio I've ever known <clears throat> has that same cocky energy, right? He's cocky. This is the King of Passion, right? This is the king of passion. He's levitating. He has the world at his feet, the universe behind him, his um, eternal scepter of fire burning. I mean, he's a cocky kind of guy. This to me is an Aries and a Scorpio card. So there's you, Scorpio, presenting in your reading as satisfied. So satisfied that there's commitment on the horizon. And you're really glad that you didn't walk away from this back here when you were trying to decide. Because it is a turning point in your destiny. It is the purpose for your life. It is a soul decision that you've made. And look at that. This whole reading topped off by the devil, which is attachment. Attachment, addiction, restriction, and sexuality. So your attachment and your sexuality towards this relationship. This, you are so passionate about this person. This person, I mean, they are hot. You are passionate about them. They are passionate about you. It is, um, you go forward. You go forward in this with a hot, intense, passionate relationship. Very good, Scorpio. Very good. That is your reading and that's awesome, right? That is awesome. Um, let's do a quick recap. So in your recent past, you're in the hermit mode seeking introspection, right? And inner guidance about who it is that you want to share your life with. Contemplating, thinking about things really, really hard. This person makes you feel happy. 
This person makes you feel happy, but you're keeping it on the down low because it's all up in your head right now. There's been nothing concrete accomplished. It's all up in your head right now. In your present energy, you have control and possession. You want this empress. You want new beginnings, abundance, and fertility with this person over here that makes you happy. Balance. You are taking forward action to work on it. You are going to transition from thinking about it to actually doing something about it because you want. You want, you want this person that makes you happy. In your immediate future, taking some action. Victory, public recognition, and success. But not without some strength and courage. This page of swords is formulating a very pointed, well thought out communication. Page of Swords is contemplating well thought out communication, but you're really afraid that you're going to be rejected, right? Because this message creates a tower moment. It creates a tower moment, upheaval and chaos. Not only upheaval and chaos, but um, revelation and awakening. This message is for, for the person receiving this message. It's a tower moment, right? Sudden change, upheaval, chaos in their life. They contemplate, right? And evaluate the entire situation. They're conflicted. There's the return message of passion and fulfillment. In the outcome, we have you presenting as the stealthy guy who's keeping this decision on the down low right here, right? There's the decision to move forward. There's the decision to move forward with victory and progress. An inevitable end to all of your, um, your thinking, right? There's the message. Cause and effect. Cause was the message. Effect. Queen of Pentacles is who you sent your message to. You feel like the emperor now that you've sent that message. Your emotions are under control. Right? Your emotions are under control. You have courage. And you want love and a relationship. Slow and steady. Has you worried with some anxiety though? Judgment is applied to the situation. An absolution, right? A rebirth of the entire situation. There is your message of love. To reconcile with someone in your past, which throws them into their head hard, little conflicted about the whole situation. It has some despair and some anxiety. They go inside. They, they think long and hard. They do some soul searching and some introspection. They make a decision. They return your message with wishes fulfilled. Swift forward movement. An ending to everything that was old and a beginning to everything that's new. Manifesting. Prosperity with a new journey and a new beginning, with an inspiration, a powerful, a powerful new beginning, a passionate, powerful new beginning because choices were made and now there's celebration. In your subconscious mind, you most definitely feel 
like this is accomplishment and completion and integration of everything that you've been thinking about thus far and desiring thus far with the nine of pentacles. Nine of pentacles sells, says uh, self-sufficiency, culmination and gratitude, investing, right? Sowing seeds, investing, profit and reward. There's you, Scorpio, all confident, feeling really, really good about the outcome of this whole situation. So good that there's commitment on your mind. There's commitment on your mind. You're really glad that you didn't. You're really glad that you went through with this whole scenario here. You're really glad that you didn't abandon, sh abandon ship back here when you were all up in your head. Because you know that this is a turning point in your destiny, the purpose for your life. It is a soul decision. Soulmate connection, possibly. Because you have intense sexual attraction and attachment to your lover, who is the empress back here. Remember? That's a great reading, Scorpio. I sure do hope that that helped you somehow, some way to, uh, to come to terms with what's going on and how you feel and all of that good stuff. Look, two of wands on the bottom of the deck, F planning for your future. I sure do hope that that really, really helped you to, um, to uh, the knight of wands on the bottom of this deck, passionate messages. I really do hope that that helped you to... Um, wrap your brain around some of this and understand the who, what, where, why, and how of this particular situation. I thank you so much for coming. If you would like a private reading, Dana, at, no, not Dana, <laughs> TaurusDartarot at gmail.com, $35. And um, do like this page, right? Like this video, subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet, and um, share it if you think it'll help anybody, okay? Namaste, my friends.